Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing this look for you. It is a neutral but with a pop of colour on the lips. I really, really love this look and I love coral lips and so I also changed the outfit and the hair as you would see as I go on on the video. I just don't think I suit the middle part. Let me know what you think if you think I suit more of a down sideward hairstyle with bangs or if I suit the middle part and more of a straight look. Let me know what your opinions are and I will see you guys in the next few clips of the video. Bye! Hey guys, so I'm doing this look for you today. It is a simple eye but with a bright bold lip. I think that this look is perfect if you're rash or you're just looking rash or you're just looking for a very simple and easy makeup tutorial to do. Um, and I really really like the lipstick which I'll show you towards the end. So the first thing which I'm doing is concealing. So I like to use the Anti Dark Circle Circles Roll On Light by Garnier. I use this as a highlight and as a concealer. So I apply it to my under eye area, underneath my brow, to my cupid's bow, and a little bit to my chin. This just gives me kind of more of a bright, brightening effect, and it makes me look more awake and a kind of a healthy glue. And I always blend this out with just a um, foundation brush from Sigma. I then went in to contour my face ever so slightly with the Skin Lights Bronzer by Revlon. This is just a liquid bronzer and you just apply it to different sections of your face that you want to give a bit more contouring and hollowing to, so like the cheeks, the sides of my nose and sometimes I'll even apply a little bit to my hairline and to my jawline depending on where I'm going or how intense I want my makeup to be. But um, you do have to be very careful with this product because less is more with this product. It is very, very pigmented. So I'm just also blending it out and I like to blend it with my fingers because I find the natural oils just kind of loosen the product a little bit and allow it to blend in with my skin and appear a little bit more flawless. Um, because I did this as a Christmas look, I went in with a second coat of concealer by Astralis and then I just blended this out with a foundation brush into the under eye area just to cover up any of the dark circles and also to aid in the bright eyed look which I was going for. And then I went in with my foundation, so this would be one of my most favourite foundations for a daily basis. This is the Rimmel Wake Me Up foundation. It has an SPF of 15 so it's perfect if you're going outside because you're also going to get the protection from the sun which is very important and I'm not one to put sunscreen underneath my foundation. I find it just gives me too much of a dewy finish but this is the perfect balance. I like that it is light and it also has good coverage. It isn't full coverage by any means, but um, it's perfect for every day. So I apply it with a foundation brush and then I go in with a beauty blender just to give it a more flawless finish. And then here I'm going in with MAC Mineralize Skin Finish in Warm Blend. I love this product because it's a duo, duo trio sorry, pack with a light to, and it gradually goes up darker. So I just blend all three and I use this as a contour and a highlight colour throughout various areas so I focus on my cheekbones and then also to the sides of my nose to set in that Skin Lights bronzer which I used initially. I then went in with a pressed powder by Maybelline and so I use this underneath my eye, I guess my, ugh, I'm getting tongue tied now, in my under eye area just to set in all the concealer and also the roll on that I applied in the first two steps and then I've also applied this on top of my eyelids to prepare the base for a very neutral eyeshadow which I'm going to be using. So I just want to pat this colour on. I'm using a flat shader brush with, by small patting movements just to kind of build this colour up in that area and to also hide any of the discoloration or veins that, are might, that might appear in your eyelids. Now I'm getting even more tongue tied. Then I went in with blush, so I like this blush because it is once again a trio blush of different colours and I just blend them all together. I find that it gives a very nice effect. And this one is Pinking Off You by Revlon. It is a very versatile product. And I usually just apply it with a tapered face brush from Sigma. Now for the lips, I went a little bit wishy-washy in this tutorial, so I found that my lips were a little bit too monotone, so I applied this red with pink undertone lip liner just to create a base for the lipstick which I'll be applying very soon as you'll see but this was just to prepare the base initially. I then decided to do my eyebrows so I'm using the Essence Eyebrow Designer Pencil in Light Brown 03. I love this product for eyebrows, it is a very kind of easy to use and very affordable product which can be purchased from Priceline I'm pretty sure. 
So I usually just use short strokes and I find that this is perfect, however the staying power isn't as great as let's say a powder. But then in the next step you'll see I use the Essence Brow and Lash Gel. So this just makes sure that it stays all day and it won't budge so you're not going to have a random line coming off your eyebrow in case you smudge it. But this product is perfect and then I just use my fingers just to pat it in and blend it all throughout the eyebrow hairs. And this just ensures that it's all set into the perfect groomed shape that I would like it. Then I went in with a darker brown eyeshadow into the crease line so I'm using either padding motions to get that colour in and then windshield wiper motions to blend it out and this is just to create more of a darkening hollow effect on the eyelid in the crease so when you have your eye open it just gives a bit more depth and like dimension to the eye because it is a very simple eye so we don't want it to leave it too simple because it detracts away but just a very natural soft look so we're just going for any matte brown eyeshadow you have even a bronzer would work I then only lined the upper lash line of my eyes I didn't line the lower, the lower lash line because I find it just kind of makes your eye even smaller and so because this look is very much about a very simple bright eyed and bold lip look we only wanted to line the upper lash line as you can see. I then decided to curl my lashes because I wasn't doing false lashes but I wanted really nice long lashes so I'm using an eyelash curl on either side and then I'm going in with my Maybelline one by one mascara. I love this mascara I find that it lengthens and voluminizes my eyelashes perfectly if you haven't tried it I definitely recommend it for the price it is a must try mascara. I've used other mascaras but I found this one to be the best at creating length and also it does look like you have fake eyelashes so definitely give it a try. So I spend a little bit of time making sure I've coated every single lash and just by wiggling the brush at the base. Now this is the star of the tutorial, it is the Spots Girl Fruit Tingle Lipstick. I love this lipstick, although it's not perfect at long stay I guess, it will only last you a couple hours however. It is so inexpensive that you can just reapply it throughout the day and also because you've lined your lips previously, it will have a little bit more staying power than just by itself. Um, it is also a little bit tricky to put it on because it is a matte kind of coral, very bright pink colour so I just used the lip liner brush just to fix the edges and I reapplied the colour. And that's the com completed look. So now I'm going on to part two, which is the hair. So I changed my hair a couple times throughout the video. Um, the initial kind of style that I wanted was a sleek middle part low pony. So I began by straightening my hair. So I'm using my TI style hair straightening iron in the pink, the pink leopard, as you can see. So it's easy to use. It is a switch on and off function. It has a temperature gauge. So I put it on 180 degrees for this tutorial. And I just went through. So I parted my hair in the middle and then I just grabbed sections on each half and I just straightened each half. Then I pinned back two of the top sections and pushed them up a little bit to give my hair a little bit more volume in that area. Picked out the wispies on the sides and then plaited my hair into a low pony and just straight. 